So I was in the last city that I served in and I was training a new missionary and it was our, I believe our second week together. It was our second week together and we'd have been out street contacting. We'd been out streeting, just talking to people on the street and we were, we were near our apartment and we'd just been talking to people and helping her talk to a lot of people. And there was this one man that we stopped and I had a Book of Mormon and I asked him, you know, if he'd ever heard of the Book of Mormon and he was intrigued for a moment and he kind of looked at me and, and he, and he took the book rather cautiously and he, he flipped through it and he showed some interest. And so we thought, okay, you know, maybe he's interested. And then he says, I don't recognize any of these prophets. I don't want your book. And we're like, oh, okay. You know, I said, well, can you, will you take this card? And I handed him a pass along card as he kind of hurried away and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, fine. And so I didn't think anything of it at the time other than, oh, that's too bad, but he wasn't more interested. And then the next week we got a call on our phone from a number that we didn't know. And, and I answered the phone and he says, oh, it's, it's me, it's me, Ferenc. And I said, you know, who, <laughs> I, I, you know, I didn't, I didn't remember who he was. And he said, Oh, we talked on the street last week. And I think, okay, we talked to a lot of people on the street last week. Um, but he said, I'm, I'm interested in the book. And I thought, okay, the book of Mormon. I, I couldn't quite place it yet, but we set up to meet with him, uh, the next, the next week. And, and I still didn't remember. I thought, okay, maybe it was that guy. And my companion said, no, I think it was this other guy we talked to because we just talked to so many people that we didn't remember. But the next week we met with him and he was, all, he was all dressed up, you know, cause he thought, you know, we were in skirts and in, in, you know, nice clothes. So he should be too. And he had his, he had his Bible there and, and he said, you know, I, I thought a lot about it and I'm interested in the book. I'm really interested in it. And I thought, okay, well, we'll tell you about the book. <laughs> and so we started, we started talking and, and he talked and told us about himself and about kind of his religious background and everything. His family were all Jehovah's witnesses. And so he, he said, he just didn't know if that was what was for him though. And he was trying to find the truth. And so we, we gave him a book of Mormon and he read through it faster than anyone that I had known. We, I remember the next week I asked him, I said, Oh, you know, where are you in the book of Mormon? And, you know, expecting him to have maybe read a couple of chapters and he was in the middle of, of second Nephi already. And then he was in Mosiah before we knew it. And he just, he just read through it and he, and he said, you know, I, I know this book is true. Like as I read it, I, I just know, I feel that it's true. And he, he came to church and he began to, to just want to learn as much as he could about the gospel. And it was the neatest, it was the neatest thing. And, and he eventually, he was baptized and he kept reading the Book of Mormon. But I just know that, that encounters like that on the street, even where you think, oh, they were interested, maybe they will be. And even if there are you know, hundreds and hundreds or thousands of people that, that we talk to on the street that aren't interested just to meet the one that is, is so completely worth it. And so when, when people ask, you know, about me, about my mission or about what it was like finding people or, or stories, I, I do remember these stories, but I also remember what it was like to go days talking to people and not really have anything promising happen. But I know that there are those people that God will, will place in, in missionaries paths like he did that day for us because they're ready. And, you know, we didn't know it even at the time, but the Lord just, he works in his, in his way, um, to help prepare his children. And I know he did with that man. And it's something that, that I will always, always cherish because we don't always know what the Lord's plan is. And I know that, that he does have one and that he will, he will make his, his plan happen.